we're back. Five topics to discuss in the sports card world, all revolving shady people and shady companies, so we better get through them. Let's start with Will Jamet. He's apparently back. Yes, that, that Will Jamet, who co-owned Heroes of Sport with Jesse Craig, who still works at PWCC and still gets interviewed on all these little shows. Well, together, Jesse Craig and Will Jamet, back in 2019, created products that featured trimmed cards and got several group breakers to, own, to open them. Well, he went into hiding after all this happened, but apparently he's back with a gentleman by the name of Michael Rumpf, and they are creating repack boxes called Uptown Mystery Boxes that they're selling through pristine auctions out of Arizona. And apparently, employees of pristine auctions, Rumpf and Will Jamin, have been seen chumming it up at a recent card event. The boxes are apparently garbage. Rumpf is kind of a shady character himself. He only pays $83 a month in child support among other shady allegations that we'll probably get into at some other time. But I just wanted to touch on quickly that here is a guy, a centerpiece of the 2019 card trimming scandal that is apparently back in action in the card world, selling things kind of discreetly now through Pristine Auctions out of Arizona. Uh, Pristine admits that they use third parties for their mystery boxes and they don't make these things themselves. So. My advice, I'd stay away from these things, but hey, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money or gamble your money, but uh, certainly not something I'd want to waste my time on. From one scammer to another, Card Kahuna. He, along with Mealy Pops, helped scam Logan Paul and Shine out of several millions of dollars when it was discovered that their first edition Pokemon case that was wrapped by BBCE was actually fake and featured G.I. Joe cards. Well, Card Kahuna's been on the run, he hasn't paid anybody back, apparently. Uh, there's lawyers involved, supposedly. Card Kahuna, though, uh, certainly isn't in hiding. He's been seen at a uh, Las Vegas nightclub. He's been seen sitting courtside at a Celtics-Nets NBA playoff game. And just recently, he was chumming it up with a card shop owner at a New York hockey game. Now, why would a card shop owner who knows about the Logan Paul Pokemon scandal Want to chum it up with a guy like Card Kahuna? Oh, well, Card Kahuna helped him out with a big card. And this guy who owns a shop over in Germany flew all the way over here to meet Card Kahuna and says he's a good guy and so on and so forth. So that's kind of what you get in the sports card world. If you have access to big cards, if you have money, you could commit scams and be like one of the most well-known scammers in the sports card world but still have fans, still have people willing to do business with you and be able to just kind of flaunt your way around New York City and all these places, sitting courtside at NBA games and not really have a care in the world. So hopefully karma or something else catches up with big old car kahuna. I have a feeling it will. And uh, I'm sure we'll be here to report on his demise if it happens. Moving on to Gary V, some videos done by AIH Sports. I'll put his link in the video description so you can check out his channel. They led to Gary V having to respond to some of his artworks that were featured on those. You remember those Zero Cool V Friends cards that were sold um, recently online? Well, it was uh, this guy, AIH Sports. I believe he was kind of one of the first people to talk about it. Kind of discovered that, and I'm showing pictures of them now, the Gratitude Gorilla and the, and the Dolphin were kind of linked to some children's books back that were written kind of a long time ago. Well, Darren Ravel, who's uh, kind of in tune to the sports card world, probably got tipped off to these videos somehow or kind of got tipped off to this topic somehow and asked Gary V about it. About it. Well, apparently Gary V says he has the copyrights to the to the dolphin and the gratitude and the gratitude gorilla. He says, you know, hey, these weren't things that he made up, you know, kind of on his own, and there may be similarities um, involved. I just thought it was really interesting that hey, you could sit here and you know turn the camera on, make a YouTube video, and a guy like Gary V is gonna maybe have to respond to your video either directly or indirectly. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, you're gonna wanna check out his videos. I watch them quite a bit. He talks about uh, some interesting topics and, and touches on topics that, um, you know, not a lot of people um, talk about in the sports card world. So, hey, if you're out there watching, 
maybe turn the camera around to yourself, uh, start talking, and maybe Gary Vee will have to respond to you. Two updates to some videos we've done recently. It, apparently, in the Mark's Card scandal, California tax dollars at work, and apparently PSA is going to be able to start sending cards out to customers. It's not going to take months. It's not going to take years. These cards aren't going to be hung up by some liberal California judge. And apparently PSA is going to be starting to work through these orders as we speak. So that's good news. We don't know what actually happened with Mark's cards and kind of all that happened with, you know, with his case and the money he owes. And maybe that'll be revealed at some other time or some other place. But some good news for some people who are owed cards uh, in the Mark's card scandal. It looks like they might be receiving them very soon. And an update to the card trimming scandal that we talked about in the last video revolving around Kong's cards, who was in, kind of found on Instagram to be one of these guys trimming modern cards. Well, a lot of people uh, in the sports card world, you know, started posting on social media about this, did videos about this, started talking about this, and that has really pushed action. And it caused PSA to decertify these cards. Their uh, Kong's cards has gone into hiding, predictably, and has not commented on this at all. And, uh, you know, this is something that back in 2019, when all this card trimming stuff broke, that didn't happen. People didn't talk about this. Me and my brother were some of the only people talking about this, and we received death threats. Uh, people called my brother's wife's work, threatening her. Um, I mean, it was just a crazy time. People were scared to death to say anything about this for some reason. I don't really know why. Um, and it's really good to see that when something like this happens, news breaks that, hey, here's this guy, he's trimming these cards, he's got a modern cards. And a lot of people weren't afraid to say something about it and talk about it and comment on it. And that led to action. And that, again, that wasn't something that happened three years ago. So I was super proud to see that. I was super proud to see the reaction um, to people talking about, you know, all this stuff originated over on the Blowout Forum and, uh, you know, kind of gets discovered over there and, and gets talked about. I just, you know, when I talk about the card trimming scandal, I'm just kind of taking that information that's over there and presenting it, you know, either it used to be on my website, but now maybe on these videos more so. So it was great to see. Again, it looks like some action, you know, got got spurred there. Kong's cards being dealt with, the cards that got um, that got authenticated by PSA or being decertified. And some people I think that even believe had those cards are maybe trying to get a refund or charge back and so forth. So good to see. We'll keep calling out these card trimmers. We're going to dip back and call out the ones in the past too. We talked about one, Will Jamin, already on this video. So we're going to keep taking shots at you guys. Uh, and I'm never going to be scared to show up in any of these card shows and confront you guys in person either. So trust and believe that. And, uh, you know, shoot, if I ever see this guy, Card Kahuna, he better hope I don't lay a cheap shot on him. Anyways, hope you guys have a good rest of your week and a good weekend. All you guys who don't scam people in the hobby and who just enjoy cards and live your life uh, in a moral, ethical way. Peace out. See you guys later. I'll be back very soon.